Hi, I'm Roberta. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making Spanish hot chocolate. It's one of the best hot chocolates you've ever tasted. It's thick and it's creamy. And the reason it's thick, two reasons in fact, we make it with real chocolate, not a powder. And the Spaniards always add just a little corn flour to thicken it up even more. Why? Because it's not just a drink, it's a dipping sauce. You can drink Spanish hot chocolate, but you also often use it to dump churros in. I've seen some that are so thick they're almost a pudding, but that's not what we're doing today because we want to dunk our churros into it. So we start off with some milk and I'm just going to add a little bit of that milk to this corn flour to make a bit of a paste and we'll set that aside. There we go. Then we're going to chop up our chocolate. It doesn't really matter how finely because we're going to dissolve it, melt it into the hot milk, but the finer it is, the quicker it'll melt and the quicker we can be drinking our hot chocolate or dunking our churros into it. Okay, chocolate ready to go. Corn flour paste ready to go. Let's take this to the stove and bring it to the boil. So there's our milk just starting to come to a boil. We'll turn off the heat, we'll pop in our chocolate and our corn flour. And now we're just going to stir it off the heat until that chocolate has melted. So we're just stirring this for a minute or so until that chocolate has all completely melted. It smells delicious. There we go. I think we've got it all. So now, do we need sugar? It's really up to your personal taste, especially if you're going to dunk the churros in, because remember the churros are coated in sugar. Look, I think it can do with just a little sugar, but that's entirely up to you. There we go, stir that in. One more taste. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay, back to the stove now, and we need to stir this until it thickens. Now you want to stir it constantly and just have it over a low heat and it should only take about four minutes. You can see that's a little bit viscous, but it's quite liquid now. We're just going to stir it until it thickens up. So that's been about four, maybe five minutes. It's still liquid, but you can see it's thicker than it was. It passes the coats the back of a wooden spoon test just, and that's how I like my hot chocolate. You can certainly add a bit more corn flour if you like yours thicker. So there we go, our beautiful Spanish hot chocolate, ready for drinking or ready for dunking your churros into. Cheers. Salud.